In this video, we'll be completing an orbital filling diagram for vanadium. Vanadium is located here on your periodic table. It has 23 electrons. An orbital filling diagram is just a way for us to keep track of each of vanadium's electrons. Vanadium has 23. Remember that hotel story. Imagine if 23 people came into the hotel. Well, first they would fill the bottom floor, then they would fill the second floor, and they would work their way up through there, filling each level and each hallway and each bed. We're going to do the same thing for vanadium's electrons. Start by writing off the symbol. And we're going to start up here in the top left in the periodic table under 1s. So vanadium's first two electrons are located on the first energy level in the s sublevel. The next electrons are located in the second energy level in the s sublevel. Vanadium's next electrons are located in the second energy level in the p sublevel, and so on. So we just went through 1s. 2s, 2p, now we'll look at 3s, now 3p, now 4s, and finally 3d. You'll remember that sublevel d has five orbitals. So this number tells us the energy level, this tells us the sublevel, and this tells us that the P sublevel has three orbitals. Now remember the rules. They have to have opposite spins, so pay careful attention to how we fill up these orbitals. We go head to toe in the first level then head to toe in the S. Now we move up to the P, but when we move up to the P, because each of these orbitals have the same amount of energy, we fill the beds up or the orbitals up separately. Then, before we go up to the third energy level, we fill them up head to toe. Same thing for 3P one electron per orbital, and now only when necessary do the electrons pair up. And when they do, they have opposite spins. Now 4s, and if you notice, we only made it to 3d3. So we'll only have three electrons in the d sublevel. And of course, they will choose to occupy separate orbitals. So this is the orbital filling diagram for vanadium. 